this energy lingers. So trust, we've got wedding. Express your love, playfulness, you deserve love. Stay optimistic with your love life, retreat, finance, and career. So what's going on? So I feel you're obviously in a place of stability or gaining stability. Um, I think your person, this retreating energy, this pullback energy, that this past energy is feeling is just you being triggered. You've chosen yourself. You deserve love. You know what you want. Um, uh, you're, I feel this playfulness and express your love comes from an energy, a person, a new energy in your energy field where you're, you're enjoying yourself. Um, playfulness. Um, I'm also, what I also got from this retreat is maybe some of you are looking forward to some plans with this person, you know, just, just, it's like a, an, um, a recapture. It's like, feels like a youthful energy happening here, right? It's, it's just a really enjoyment. Like you see how playful they are. It's just a very youthful energy here. And then obviously trust from some of you, this is a marriage still ending or just trusting that energetically this shift or this cleanse of this energy from your energy will happen. But I think the more you elevate yourself, because I feel like this has to do with your elevation and your optimism. So energetically for us to cleanse from our past, our energy has to shift. And if you're finding that you're having a connection that's helping you through these emotions, you know, and you're in a good place, then, you know, obviously engage. But some of you, it can still linger because it's still in your energy, right? It's like we're not fully a hundred percent um healed yet you know but definitely this is a matter of you choosing you you deserve love what you deserve you know what your next stage looks like so let's see what else we get there goes that devil god god this person cancer cancer ace of pentacles you're moving forward whether this person likes it or not, but I feel like some of you, it's not, it's not going to be easy. So heartache and loss and then spiritual union. So to me, and you have the lovers here. This is, this is your energy here. This is your new energy. This person on the other end is experiencing all of this. But I will say when we're still having these energies in us, it's because we still have to heal. So this is the three of swords. We still have to kind of heal. I do feel your person still feels a bondage to you though. So this past energy is a possession. This is a this is a, a possession thing. This isn't a love thing. This is a you are mine, you know, you move forward. Again, it's a trigger to your person. Oh, so unhealthy, my goodness. Um, all right, let's get into these energies. Spirit, why the devil? Can we run this devil? Yeah, I mean, can we run this devil? This person is like magician energy with the devil that's very manipulative, very narcissistic, very possessive. Eight of Swords, they don't like that you're moving on for pentacles. Look at this dissatisfaction. They know you're you probably engaging in another connection. They're, they they can energetically feel this. This makes this person extremely um it it it's triggering it's triggering their abandonment wounds, codependent wounds, um controlling um possessive energy that makes them obsess more about you know what they did and obviously there's a lot of regret here but it's nurses it's almost like they also don't see fault you know or maybe remorse not so much regret maybe some remorse but at the same time i feel pride because they feel so possessive, right? Um, about what feels like, this four of pentacles, what, what feels like is theirs. 
Let me get a clarifier. He wants four pentacles. Why the four pentacles? Yeah, so the sudden change in your energy, Empress energy. Yeah, look at this. Nine of pentacles, the hierophant, Taurus energy. Um, you guys can be dealing with the Gemini, Taurus, Libra, um, and Page of Pentacles. If this is about them having a place in your life, right? And Six of Pentacles, they feel you probably are giving your energy elsewhere. But they... Obviously, the, the stability you gave them, I mean, the nurturing and stability you gave them, the Empress energy and the Nine of Pentacles, like you had them well. This person was better off in in your life, right? Higher fence to marriage, Taurus energy, right? So this person knew. Um, they thought you would always be there. It's kind of like that energy. Three of Wands, heartache and loss. Find heartache and loss. Yeah. Triggered. Queen of Swords. Seven of Cups. Right? Now their emotions are all over the place. This triggered their narcissism, I feel. Put them in this Queen of Swords energy. But you're also having to guard yourself a little more if you're experiencing this. Right? Yeah. Triggered. Talk about triggered. Three of Cups. They know you're with someone. We saw the Three of Cups before, right? This this not knowing. Right, um, I'm going to pull some energies from this untold. I got to see. Spirit, give me more on this interference. What's going on with this energy with Cancer? Wow. So, harmony, peace, balance. They see your energy has changed. Shallow, superficial, boredom, blank. Right? So now they're, they're, they feel the energy being taken away. Secret, admire, suppression, resistance, shyness. I feel like this is their obsession, right? Their boredom now, their attention is trying to figure out um, how they feel. Try to figure out where you're at watching over you um i feel what's surfacing too is like emotions that aren't real and again it's it's out of possession so this person all of a sudden thinks they want to work things out with you but again it has um it's just a shallow it's superficial it's it's very superficial this is a shallow person um so let's see the spiritual union. Human spiritual union. Death. Well, this is done. <laughs> well, this past energy is definitely done. You've moved forward. They know you're with another Queen of Swords. How this they're you're you're and you're also taking back your power. So you've undergone a change. Here we are in the spiritual union. You found someone more exciting in your energy that's really more alluring and activating this playfulness energy in you. Nine of Swords and the Four of Wands. Wow, this person's so regretting losing you. Wow, wow, wow. I also feel like they're going to get more of this seductive queen of wands energy or again possessive energy of conquering because again what's 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 theirs is theirs okay more of these lovers why the lovers nine of pentacles and then these lovers wow so the wheel has turned you're very stable. You're minding your business, Nine of Pentacles. You've got uh, attention elsewhere. You know this is over with the Ten of Swords, and you're not trying to engage in the Five of Wands. You've met a Queen of Pentacles. Um, I also feel that this is about your stability. 
right? So you know what you brought to the table with this person. You're a very stable person. Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. Stable, 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 stable. You guys can be dealing with an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Scorpio, uh, fire sign. But this is done. You're, and you're not looking back with the Wheel of Fortune. You've got two tens, ten of wands, ten of swords. You're not looking back. You're moving forward. You're vibing high. Um, you're really thinking about forward. You're forward thinking. You're thinking about your future. You're thinking about this new beginning. Ace of Pentacles, where you're going. Give me Ace of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, yeah, completely leaving the, the past behind and the star. You're going for your renewal. The star is aligning yourself to your soul. It's your renewal, the renewal of your life, a new beginning, fresh energy, um, healing. You're just wanting to leave the past behind you and start new for yourself. Have a different life. Again, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. So... This isn't, this is definitely going to take a while to transition out because the fact that this devil keeps appearing in Cancer's Read for quite some time. So I, I'm obviously picking up on a collective that went through a, a really difficult ending with someone, a divorce or just an ending of a long term relationship. And this person was very possessive. So let's see the shadows, this devil energy, what's going on. Is their shadow because they're obviously experiencing things here. Very more on the shadow spare. What is the shadow of this devil, please? What's going on with this interference? What's the interference of this person? What is their shadow? So control, and I think like we got this last time. Their controlling behavior comes from their insecurities. This is what I'm saying. It's ter it's possession. This is about what's theirs is theirs. Their controlling behavior comes from insecurities. What's theirs is theirs. That's it. Yep, settling. They rather settle than to break up because it's not exactly bad, but it's not greater, great either. Secrets. Um, so they're settling. That's why it's like this isn't about love. It's just a matter of knowing they can get you back. And, you know, taking back what, what they feel is theirs. Um, here we have bottom of the deck, cheating. I think you guys get this card so much. Cancer, there's an emotional connection with someone else. This person's a cheater. This person's controlling. This person's very narcissistic. This person, um, you know, just wants... It's really about what's theirs and, and they will settle. This is, they would rather just be with you even though they know that they'll still cheat. This is a person who will still do, this is not a, a person who will change. They're shallow. They're just superficial. They're very superficial. Um, let's see what more blockage is for this connection. Why is the blockage for cancer? Why do you guys have this blockage? What's the blockage here? It's obviously um, your soul's transition and what it's learning as well. Yeah, awareness, bring awareness to others. So I feel like this is bringing awareness to you. One, to learn these kind of energies and to really obviously never do them again. <laughs> That's a tough lesson, right, Cancer? But this, you're, you're learning so much in this space. And I think you're also realizing something you didn't realize about this person, this ex um, whatever this triggering energy, it's almost like, oh my God, you, you're starting to see their insecurities. You're seeing their controlling behavior. If anything, this reading is helping you see it because who is ever coming to this reading on a week to week with me can see that this has been really consistent. Um, what's the guidance for cancer? Grounding. You are low on energy right now because you're ungrounded. Ground yourself with the earth and connect again with your body. A practical reality, this will bring you success. So just continue to ground, take care of yourself. Meditation, take some time out to focus and be silent. 
Calm your overactive mind and become one again with your soul. The answer you seek will come to you when you're at peace with yourself. So definitely continue to vibrate and meditate and spend time really not letting this person get in your head if you're still dealing with um you know if you guys have kids uh because this is very big for some of you you guys may have children with this person have to still deal with them and family and friends it's time to spend time with your loved ones there's love for you will their love with for you will bring you new energy and creativity celebrate your friendship so those who've been supportive during this time this is what i'm saying um go relax i think i'm i'm speaking to a group that you guys need to like take some time off and if you found this great connection with someone this playful energy express your love this playfulness go enjoy take a holiday with your person if you you have this person and have been talking about you know taking time out um but go enjoy yourself and kind of alleviate your energy a little bit so let's see one more guidance for you create cancer Bring a period of renewal and bloom so things will shift i feel hopefully this energy will cleanse come spring i think you'll learn you'll learn a lot about this person's energy and how to transmute it because again some of you have kids and there's no closing this chapter 100 percent. but you'll learn how to manage it better so um and boundaries there we go set and preserve boundaries to protect yourself and your energy you know um this is what happens like i said when you pull your energy so now there's boundaries that need to be created and again for those who have children you have to set and preserve boundaries to protect yourself and your energy most importantly your energy energy these people are vampire right energy vampires so anything you give them um even like even a level of sympathy i think this person is going to want to try to pull things from you energetically just for attention seeking attention right it's out of it's to um insecurities right they're controlling their controlling behavior comes from their insecurities so just know what those things are um and obviously this is part of the cleansing and the learning how to deal and learn you know for some of you you're learning about narcissism um and remember narcissism don't get too hung up on the the way they're described everybody has a level a degree of narcissism um, narcissists are just people who are unhealed and to me everybody has some uh, if we're unhealed we're gonna play victim you know until we heal ourselves but there's a high the high degree of narcissism which stems from i feel like this is kind of dealing with a person with a, a, a high degree of narcissism unfortunately cancer or medium you know maybe medium for some of you but you've got to find a way to not feed into their bs because they're not genuine even though they even may come across as nice or whatever the case may be but obviously boundaries are created are necessary and hopefully come springtime i'm hoping this energy shifts for you come springtime and things will definitely feel a lot lighter for you and you don't feel so burdened by them because they've probably come to a level of acceptance right of that this is really over once you set these boundaries um and this is showing them how to treat you obviously and of course those who have to deal with them still so um i'm gonna leave it there cancer please uh i love you please make sure to like that click that like button